Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Ostrov. I'm just kind of sitting here watching the, the peaceful scene of a couple of rowboats heading out onto the lake. Yeah, I love the, the water reflections, all the little ripplets, wavelets in there. Anyway, first thing I need to do is correct a mistake from last time. I had a Super Vista print bring up the fact that for some reason I had limited this. I think I know why. I thought I was in here, taking it down. And while I was talking about this, this was on, and I was thinking to myself, why is that still up at 20? So I, I don't want four port workers sowing this field. I think that's what happened. Luckily, they didn't do anything about it. It was at four, but we still have five. So it must, have, must be something that's gonna happen in the winter when they get brought back in. Anyway, so we still have all of our cows. <laughs> We've got one bull and one, two, three, four cows right now. Uh, a couple of new ones. Anyway, um, what to do today? We've got this new area being built. Kind of. I got them all turned off. What have I got them turned off for? Where are we now? Let's kind of reevaluate things. We're in May. And all the sewing is done. This one is fallow. No, that's, that's sewing. This is fallow. And this is fallow. So all the sewing is done. So all the farm workers are are off doing everything else. Um, three women are looking for jobs right now, which means what? We have two in here and really no need for more. Um, this over here, that's where we ended last time. We just created the oil workshop. Who is allowed to work here? Looks like guys only. Let me just verify that one more time. Roll the dice. Yeah. So let's just limit it to one then and set this for worker by cart. It's not set to worker by hand by default, which means there won't be any women in here. Okay, that's probably a, a clue, isn't it? So this right here, by cart, yeah, okay. So if it's automatically set to by cart instead of by hand, that tells you who's gonna be, who's meant to work in that place. So this worker should be grabbing sunflower seed or sunflowers from here and then dropping that off into there. We, you know, it might be a good time right now to set up a another market stall and that will employ another lady that will sell things that are not food. Um, touch to the T. That looks pretty good right in there. Now... We've got to get the bottom to line up proper, or the, the back to line up against the fence. Right in there. Looks like it's over the fence. So I'm going to go in right there. Okay. Yeah, something like that. All right, so this one. Wow, that camera moves so fast. Um, we're going to set you up to do sunflower oil and eventually clothes. I want to get into that hopefully by this episode shoes eventually but i that's going to be quite a few building projects away so the other would be beef i could see that happening soon what else what else is not in the other ones that may possibly happen i think that's about it right now there's no hint of chickens yet okay we'll go with those right now we'll employ who uh svitlana yeah, we, we saw her, one of these houses, right? Svetlana? Where, did, where is that name familiar? We talked about her a couple episodes ago. Maybe she was a, a worker in one of these. Maybe she was the worker in the one that got torn down. Was that it? I don't know. Um, speaking of this, I forgot to turn this back on. Laborer by cart. So they can be stocking this up. And I was thinking about getting a food stall, a market stall, out over here and a well. So these houses didn't have to go all the way in, although all the way isn't that far. Really isn't. Hmm. It's probably not worth it at this point. As more houses get out here, then maybe we should do something right over here. They can cho choose to go around the corner or go over here, but yeah, that's, that's really not that far. Fencing? What are we going to do with the fencing? I was going to wait until I saw the final layout over here. We have an opening here. May as well take it all the way 
out to here. They're not crossing for any other reason. Yeah, that'll keep the, them from running pathways up this hillside over here. Okay, let's do that. You, and I think we're in this fence right here. Now. Although that is an opening. That's true. That is a natural opening. Okay, so you really need to start about like so and run across to oh, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Otherwise, I was thinking about taking some of these fences and using them to oh, just, just kind of limit things and steer them around. Like, we wanted a straight pathway to here just to make it look right. We could take a three-rail fence. Uh, this guy? So we'll find out. And snap you to there and take you out to like this. One more fence section. Now, if they want to make a straight run, they're not going to do this and go over then go around. They're just going to make a straight run to, to the nearest point that will take them straight into here. So we can get a, a road being formed now just like that. And, you know, likewise, I could kind of reshape things just by jutting out a fence here and there, putting a fence, you know, around the the trader like it's his property, you know, being uh, partitioned off, anything like that. All right, turn the speed up and let's just kind of reevaluate things. Where are we and what are we doing? That's fine. We left this one with a manager and, you know, un doesn't really matter what the quantity is going to be here. We'll never get enough in there anyway. Um, everything is set here for the next four years. Where are we at on all of our supplies? Smithy. 500 and some nails, and you're just about to use the last of the iron. So we'll get to see if this, in fact, empties out completely, then we can delete it. Um, over here, carpentry. And there's nothing being done, which something that Vapen noticed in his episode today, when they're in a place that's satisfied, they're not actually doing anything, they're, they're not getting paid. I'd be curious, can I find your home and look at your income? You're doing pretty good. Carpentry and unemployed and it's going up. Well, that's interesting. So it's still increasing, even though you're not actually building a cart. Well, it didn't do that with him in the smithy, and that was just the sound of my pencil falling, in case you heard that. Um, yeah, the guy in his smithy was maxed out, and their house was going broke. Interesting. I'm going to fire you anyway, because I, I've got nothing for you to do, and I want you doing other things, like um, this building project. Where do you? You're the weaver shop. Continue. So you should jump in here real quick, right? 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 Nah. Takes them about a week to, to make up their mind what they're going to do. To get over the uh, <laughs> the trauma of having been fired. <laughs> Forestry. Uh, nine logs, 166 wood. We could just employ one for now. Um, we do have this fully stocked. We do. Um, condition of the boats. So, a third quarter and empty. If, and I can't click on anything or order a new boat so that doesn't do any good ordering of the boat messenger ooh that's the good one too right um yeah nothing over here no nothing calling for a boat okay um messenger you're the one that offers salt what did that say oh it's this one this is, starts with a b i think that's a d okay this one ah oh, okay offers flour Cow and iron. Let's get two more oxen. Rather than wait till, uh, till we get a couple of extra bowls that we could convert over. Yeah, let's do that. And potatoes. Okay, deal on you. Slow it down to one. That worked? Yeah. Where's our trader? We have 13 in stock. We have a bunch available, right? Potato, 25. Hmm. Let's take you to 20. We'll add two workers. And let's at least sell the 13. But if it's possible, 
and we can get this stocked in time before that deal goes away, we could... 25 more days. It'll give us quite a bit of time. Let's sell the 13 for now. There we go. Now, I noticed something once. Now, it looks like it's been fixed. There was one time where I was able to go from this end of 13 to that end of 13. In other words, the slide bar there. And it was changing the price without changing the units. Like, they were, they were a little independent of each other in there. But that's pretty... Uh, Pretty rigid now. Okay. Um, 104 coming in? Sure, let's do that. We have 400 left. We've really got to start selling something. We're getting a little iffy on our on our treasury. We have a couple of, of years and we're gonna be we're gonna be broke. So we need to start selling off some stuff. Uh, 13 is committed. Let's see if we can't get another even 25. There's I think it'll be plenty for us yet. There's what in the stalls right now? One uh, one and a half. Have you started doing anything? You are starting to bring things in. Yes. Okay. Sunflower oil. Okay. And I also want sunflower oil to trade. So let's do that. And let's call for... Um, call for just five of them. We're not going to make that much, are we? Let's call for ten. Cathro was suggesting, but she wasn't certain, that the sunflower may... Uh, convert to twice as much oil. Where am I? Right here. So that, well, five could become ten. Hmm. Reserved. How much is already over here? Three is over here. Well, maybe we'll get a chance to see this. Sunflower oil production limit five. Why would you want to limit it? That I don't know. That seems like an awfully small number. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, well, we'll just keep pulling it out of there so you never hit your production limit. Um, where are you right now? Show path. That is you right there. Let's speed this up so we can see this happening. He's grabbing sunflower, bringing it back. I want to see him process it. Let's see if it's possible to actually see what is being done here. Okay, are you... You're dropping it off. Okay, one sunflower, one sunflower oil... Let's see what happens here. You're dropping off your cart. Which is nice we put it that close. And you're going home. <laughs> Reserve one sunflower oil. Well, that's interesting. What does that mean? But there isn't a sunflower oil to take. Huh. Well, maybe we'll have to come back to that. Let's continue our survey thatch no workers and we still have some thatch oh we have no workers because nobody's willing to work here hmm we need to get that town hall built now i know there was a generic you know overall wage that you could change but i didn't get the sense there was anything specific that you could pay the fishermen more than others to make sure it's always employed that kind of thing that would be a nice uh, improvement over time as the game develops um, it is hard to keep somebody over here. I've noticed that. Um, here. At least we're killing, uh, keeping the uh, the fishing dock full now. But what do we have to do? Um, quantity of wheat. Not that much. Quantity of flour in town. Do we have flour in this list? Let me look at it again, because I didn't see it the first time through, and I don't see it the second time through. Okay, you have got wheat, you, flour, got no flour. Okay, that's interesting. And these are not checked, kind of with the idea that you really don't want to have to walk all the way over here to get your wheat to come all the way back to process it, to drop it off. You usually would build this next to that. Same with the sunflower, the thought that this would be near that too. So, no point in getting into there. Is there anything else that we don't want into there? Beef, chicken, sunflower oil. Um, it's going from here to the trader and here. I guess for the sake of the markets, you could. Okay, it just feels like someone will be carrying it into here, then somebody out of the trader will pop over there and take it right back. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's take you off for now. 
potato into here. Yep, that's probably right. And then, although the same argument goes, will the trader be grabbing potato out of here? I guess they will until they're satisfied. So until we get 10 sunflower oil, huh? Okay. I'm stalling because I'm trying to figure out if we want to... If we're going to make it out of the sale before this time runs out. 16 days left. It's kind of not looking like it's going to happen at the rate that we're wanting it to. Um, will I see... He's right there. That's interesting. If that's truly him, it shows him over at the... Uh, at a river. Does that map really match? I guess it does if you head down this way. Okay. So this curve of the river... It's just that it's so tiny in here you can't really tell. Hmm, okay. Just trying to correlate that map with what I'm seeing here. Anyway, you're hopping into here. You're hopefully going to be loaded up. Do we have a worker actually in the house? You are over there. And you are over here heading home. Hmm... We need somebody in here right now. Oh, they're going to go away. 14 in here now. Well, let's speed this up and see what happens. They're waiting patiently. Maybe because it is employed, he's willing to... Reserved. He's willing to hang around for a bit. Or is this actually it being loaded up right now? Just watching this. There's 13 left. We had 14 now. We're, we're down by one potato bushel or whatever. And are we going to reserve another one? And then count it down? Yeah. So he must be. It must be similar. There we go. Now we're loading. Okay. All right. So we seeing the treasury going up and exports as this loads. Everything here is real time. What was the 32 otherwise? Okay, it is real time. It's 8 per. And each As each one completes, it's going up by 8. Okay. So, that's happening. Good. Okay. Now, we're building that one. And any reason why we can't turn this one on too? Probably not. Are we comfortable with food? Can I put more houses in? Uh, unemployment. Okay, two looking for jobs. Food. Flour is still not on this list. Sun for oil of five. Potatoes of 25. Hmm. Where's fish? Fish down there at 9.8. Okay. And we have another harvest coming in with a lot more potatoes. Where are we now? June... I think we're fine. So where do we want more housing? And... 4 of 25, so I don't know... I'm going to take that back down now. To... Like 10. Because we just we took out almost 15 there. Otherwise we'll bankrupt the town and everything will be sitting in here. Um, waiting oil. Yeah, we're going to... Let's take that down as well, so the town's got something. Okay. And that's right. It just dawned on me. I was looking at this house, one of these houses, sunflower oil. So they are bringing it into the house, and that just went down, so they are using it. So it's acting as a food product for them now. Okay. I get the sense in an earlier build of the game that wasn't employed yet, so it looks like that's, that's up and running. Okay, that's good to see. Otherwise, just kind of figuring out where to go from here. We're happy there. This still isn't happening. Probably because we've opened these up. 14 thatch. These don't need thatch. So when the construction is done, although I'm going to open up the uh, construction for more houses. Hmm. Okay. 
we're, we're just going to run out of thatch. I guess all there is to it. Or else I have to fire a whole bunch of other people to finally get somebody to get into there and work on that. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I'm thinking about this kind of a housing tract swinging out over here. Is that really what I want? We have kind of a curve right here on this hillside. Might be nice to have the houses overlooking this. How best to lay it out? Let's slow it down a little bit in case someone gets the idea of starting to build on it. Or build these things. And I'm guessing that I would want to enter it from the upper side here. Like so. Probably. Now, can I... And I want to be... I don't want the house to be going down the hill and half of it being buried into the grass there. So we need to get up about here. Okay. The question is how far this way? What will it take to make this curve look good? I think it would take a house actually sitting out over here facing this direction. Like that? Could be. And then another one. Let's see. Problem is I can't get that much of a swing. I really can't. I mean, best I can get is right about there and try to pull the thing way back. Yeah. So this one's not going to work. So let's put in a, a, a corner house. Let's go that route first then. So you're there and your front door is back in here and what looks like a pretty good 45. Well, well I've got a, what is an angle that I can actually work at here? Because I've got to see how it buries into the hillside too. Hmm. All right, 45, if I were to draw a line perpendicular, that's actually pretty close. Maybe just a touch more that way. So if you're gonna be there, but I've gotta make that swing to right, you know, that line at the bottom corner right there. So you're about like this. If I did that, can I pull out of that enough? What is the most you'll let me rotate before you snap away? It's right about there. I'd have to get clear up into here. I still can't fix, get that right. Hmm. Okay, let's take him back a little bit further. Um, how best to do that? I want him back more like this. And a little bit shallower, about there. Okay, you go away. And let's try this one more time. Parallel to, let's see, there you go. Unsnap and touch the R. Yeah, something like that. And then set you right about there. I think so. Okay, you go away. Let's try this one more time. All right, rotate you as far as you'll go. Or not as far as you'll go. What is half of that? How do you figure half of that? Yeah, we need, we need snaps to 90s, 45s, and 22 and a halfs built in so so I guess what well, my choice is is back maybe 22 and a half is the furthest it will go it's right there now if we did that now what's happening up at the other end how far do I stretch it this way that's the hard part to judge you don't really get to see the result until you until they build it and then you wish you'd done it a little bit differently, like down on that other curve. So if we did that, there, there, and then a straight one this way. And straight would be, I guess, straight to this. I can't. <laughs> Interesting. That's about as close as that's going to get. So there, and then pull it in straight, okay, to the hill like this, okay. All right, so what does that look like? 
Although it's hard to tell because it's drawing squares overlapping, so I really can't see the curve. It looks like this one needed to be further out like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be a stickler here. So I want this to be a little more like... that. Now let's see if, well that actually that just might be uh, in the way. Let me do another one. Parallel to this. You go away. You go away. House. All right. T, there you are. So somewhere in here. Ah oh boy. It's going to snap to it. <laughs> Okay, that's. I'm just going to have to eyeball it. Yeah, the snap to is what gives you these interesting curves, but it's really limiting in other senses. So, hmm. There, there to straight. I guess that's all I'm going to get. There, take you around to, to perpendicular to that guy. And now pull you in until you look pretty uh, icy. Hmm. It looked like these were almost even, but I guess they're not. My eye is drawing a line between these flags, but it really goes from there to there. There to there, there to there. That's that's a fairly decent sweeping curve there. Though it looks like it's... Yeah, we're at a weird corner right there. That's all I'm going to get at that point. Now, I think this would be a good place for a road right here. So if we were going we to do another one, it would be turned this way. And... Parallel. Let's see, unsnap you. So, touch the R. Hard to hold Alt and do that. Yeah, and then leave a road width about like that. And then front to back is probably about there. Alright, well there's four houses that are beginning a little neighborhood area here. With a well and a marketplace up in this area too. And probably eventually heading out to this point and then cutting a road through right like this. So that's probably just one more house and a half a space or something. I don't think I can get two more in, in the width of this, of this uh, field over here. All right, so with those, I would say let's... Hmm. I can't really say which one is closest or most likely to be used first. I was just thinking we could line up all of these. We can head over and do another neighborhood out over here or something and stack a whole bunch up in here. And it just reminded me of a improvement that's coming, I think, in the next patch to where as the number in the queue grow, they will shrink in their size to keep it, be, uh, to not go beyond this point so that we're not blocking this interaction right here. We discovered that with the last map. We got too many and I couldn't click on that anymore. So it's going to be a nice improvement. The, the queue will uh, will change its its uh, size in proportion. Okay. <clears throat> have I accomplished anything this episode? I don't know that I have. I'm trying to decide which one of these to even open up at all. I'm thinking none of them right now. I'm thinking we're going to pause all of these. or just laid out there for a future episode. I wanted to see what this would look like is as there was a noise wasn't there no I guess not I was up in a built but I only had the two I just had this this memory just hit me of a bloop, bloop, bloop. but that wasn't um, anyway I wanted to see this curve this will be the the housing for for the workers over here possibly but it's still a little too far away to do any good this one is more likely to do some good right now so what do we do over here I'm kind of liking these curves just because we can do it but and there you go they're starting to straighten this pathway out here but um, 
I don't know that it really fits the genre, the, the era of this. Of course, these little fenced yards kind of look too modern to me too, but I don't know. What has happened here? Could be another cow shed and hay. Windmill would make sense. In fact, that could probably be put in right now. I want these two done. I want some thatch made. Still not going to happen. We do still have the fish coming in. There's eight waiting there. Good. This is up and running. Don't need two in there, though. We didn't have that much wheat. Did that help this? Not yet. Okay. Over here... Speed this up a little faster. Actually, where are you at right now? You're in it. Okay. Do we see any work being done? That 1.63 is not... Some for oil 5. Slow you down. So I need to get oil out of here. 10. And are you guys collecting oil? You're not. Ah. Okay. All right. Then I do need to leave that checked. So we maxed out at five, and he's just sitting there doing nothing. Does it show an income flowing into his house? Uh, find home. You're this one. Oh, two. Speed up a little bit. We're going in. She's working the market stall. It's not going up very fast, so that may just be her wage while he's sitting and waiting to go back to work. Uh huh. Well, I'm sure someone's going to. There it is right there. Pop in and grab some of that. So with that, reserve one. Now, was that a half to become the one? I think it was. 1.63. Was it 1.63? Yep, that's a half. So it is two to one. Okay. Well, that's working again. And... Sunflower's all been taken out. Okay. So in that case, yeah, this is going to be just temporary employment. So I'll wait for someone grabs this last one. Is that going to happen there? Yeah. So this point thirteen is going to... It may not. It may sit there because it's not going to make an even number. Could be. In which case, he's really no longer needed until we get more sunflower in. I'm thinking so. Well, was that him? Reserve to haul away or reserve to make one? Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay. So that freed up two different people. Could one of them be in here now? No. <laughs> okay. More housing. Oh, we're already working over here. Oh, good. Let's do some observing. Over here... Growth got plowed, had plenty of nutrients, yet our growth is still in that half to five-eighths mark. What does it take to get this stuff to grow? What am I not seeing here? So leave me your thoughts on that. Uh, the soil was started here at 100% of everything. Growth at about two-thirds. That's wheat. Um, you are potato. You got a little bit better. Going back my memory here. We did this one a little bit late. We were two thirds of the way into March when the plowing began. So that could be just a timing issue, whereas this one would have started as close to March 1st as possible, and this one probably just went a little bit longer. But there's no plowing involved here. Hmm. So I guess it's not uh, conclusive at this point. Over here, we've got three people working. Over here, we've got two people working. And I suspect that they're going to want to work here more than here because it just feels like it's... Well, I guess it really isn't closer. If you look at it from this direction, that's actually closer to where people live than this one. I figured that they would be filling this one up because it was closer to homes. But I guess in the end it really isn't. 
but even when we were sowing in the spring this filled up and this one we were fighting to keep just two in there so I wonder what the difference is hmm um, carts over here would be good yeah that's a reason right there for our, our corner let's put a cart in there like no I can't because it's the entrance yeah okay so can't do that um, and you nope I could do it out over here if we got rid of the fence that'd be weird um, you're, you're in the other direction that's why So I'd have to go pretty much right there. Yeah, that would be weird. Oh, I could do it this way. We can do that. Ah, that would do it. Okay. So, my WASD mixed up here. There we are. Trying to catch parallel. Yeah, I guess that's about as good as we're going to get. And you can sit right there. Okay. And I was trying to come up with a... I think it's time to get rid of this guy. Let's transfer you uh, there to there, just to get that done. I want to start clearing this middle out, so we can do... Oh, the tent's gone. Did you grab it all? 4.46, you grabbed all the iron. Okay. Well, that answered that one. So that tent is gone. We're going to delete this guy. This will go away once we build the town hall. Town hall, I was thinking, right in here. And I figured there'd be just enough room to sneak him in, like so. Now, centered on this guy, which is centered on these two archways. That's kind of the idea, though he's not really. So, just somewhere up in here that looks decent, I guess. Like that, though I wish I hadn't clicked. I wanted to see what the corner looked like, but hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, so that's going to go there. As soon as this cart goes away, kick the speed back up. So somebody, the... Uh, the order to go and get that we can delete this one and even these two will these will delete so soon we'll have the tent gone we'll have everything gone but the well so I kind of like the uh, the campfire demolish you I wonder what else we could do with that we could do this and this and just put some benches in for now just for fun like there just for a oh, community uh, get together place how are we looking that looks pretty good yeah there then yeah. oops try that again with the shift button next time we'll put four of them in and rotate you around something like so put out a bench and somebody will sit on it <laughs> as fast as I can put them in. <laughs> and... Yeah, right there. Hmm. Anywhere else that needs a bench? Ah. Some other time. So is it time to shut this down? I feel like I've gone quite long, but I just don't feel like I've done anything. Housing over here. We've got carts over here. I need to order some more carts. And we need we need to employ somebody to make them. Did the thatch ever get employed? It did. We've got uh, thatch. Mostly what we need is, is thatch gathering, and that's what you're doing. Great. Bring in all that thatch. That way, if we do have to shut this down, at least we'll have a good supply of... Oh, you're making it as you're bringing it in. Ah, okay. So, this one... Let's check this right here. From That's the, the one that had the salt and lime okay now I had one person either on my in my comments or maybe in Murphy's comments say that you needed salt for the tanning process and had someone else say no you don't need salt for the tanning process so I would think salt with the fish but I've never seen a, a building that looked like a dried fish 
So I'm not real sure, but I'm thinking we're going to order how much? Let's do five. That's going to cancel out our potato sale, that's for sure. Five of you. Lime. Let's do five of you. At the very least... Now, where will we store them? Let's think about that. This does not store lime. Salt. But will it show up when we have it in town? Right now, we don't have it in town. Hmm. They probably store in the warehouse. It hasn't uh, been added to the game yet. I don't know. It may just sit in the, in the uh, trading post. Could. Well, we'll find that out when it comes. Either that or it'll break the game save and, and uh, cause a conflict that can't be uh, solved and, and we'll be starting a new town. But I think, um, let's see, was there anything else available? Nothing else. Okay. And there's nothing that we wanted to sell them. Wheat and shoes. So that's a no on both of those. Yeah, so I think that is done. Anything you want to leave in the comments for me, suggestions or what have you, please do. And yeah, it doesn't feel like I did much this time. Though this is the sort of game that I could sit here for you know three or four hours and just at slow speed and just kind of fine tune and touch up and, and work on adding little things here and there and problem is I don't know if anybody wants to really sit and watch that. People like to sit and watch action and, and uh, you know, uh, lots of accomplishment. That's why you see most of these series being done at full speed and everything just buzzing around and that's what it takes to make a good YouTube series. But uh, that's just not the way I normally play. But yeah, let me know what you think. This has been Noble Rambler and I'll catch you next time folks. Bye bye.